Hello, everybody. Shaquita Graham here from AtecoWeb.com. I'm here with my good friend and sister, <laughs> Nomalenka Michelle Moses of SuccessfulBlackWoman.com. We've just been having so much fun. Unfortunately, I can't say everything that I think on this video, but I'm going to try to give a good commentary about Regina King's comments advocating that black women should date outside of their race. And then we have Robin Thicke. He has some things to say where he discourages black women from dating outside of race. So let's go in, guys. Um, let me go. I'm going to share my screen with these articles. Okay. Mind you, I can't say everything I think. Okay, so... Uh, actress Regina King has reignited interracial dating debate by writing an open letter. Really, Regina? You had to write an open letter about dating outside of your race? Seriously, okay. So um, she writes this open letter urging Black women to date outside their race. She said basically Black women need to open up. And um, when you have every, she said black men are dating outside their race. And when you have everybody else who's willing to explore, but black, a black woman is like, I want me a brother, then that makes our percentage rate lower and chances of finding love, whatever. And so blah, blah, blah with her commentary on that. Then you have um, Robin Thicke, who uh, he was asked if he thought it was, this is a long article. This is that Atlanta Black Star. He, um, he was asked if he thought it was a good idea. He said, when asked, the article says, when asked how he felt regarding the media's opinion that African-American women are better off dating white men, he responded, I think that's ridiculous, okay? There are so many good black men out there that are hardworking, decent, and handsome, you know. To start that rumor is as bad as starting any other negative rumor. He goes on to say with a slight laugh that there are great black men out there. There are only a few good white men, trust me. And he says, good luck finding Finding a good white man who understands your journey. I only have three white friends. I've got 20 black male friends who are all good men who take care of their wives and they take good care of their children. I know amazing black men. Maybe the women who are having a problem is what I'm, I'm thinking he's saying, have to take better care of their men, Regina. And maybe you're being too stubborn, Regina. And maybe you're not saying you're sorry, Regina. No, okay, let me stop. But anyway, he's against it. No, well, what do you have to say? Well, okay. So let me let me speak mindfully here, okay? Um, <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> um, you know, at, at a glance, my husband and I look like we're the same, but I'm from a different country and a different continent than he's from here. He's African-American, okay? Um, and when I was growing up, it's a funny thing, I grew up in Botswana, um, and I came to the United States when I was about 19 years old, which sadly is a very long time ago now. Um, but um, what, what I thought at the time was, at some point I thought to myself that I probably shouldn't even consider getting married. And the reason why is when I was growing up, I saw a lot of, um, it, it seemed almost built into the culture that there was sometimes too much promiscuity. And I thought to myself, I, I, I can't do this. I'm, I'm just maybe not going to get married at all. But it served me to broaden my horizons. And I came here and, um, you know, I met a lot of different people from a lot of different places. And it showed me that I didn't have to stay in that narrow-minded thought of, you know, if I stay here and I get married, I'm going to end up in the same situation that I really don't want to be in. So I get the idea of wanting to broaden your horizons. Mm -hmm. However, <laughs> can you stop rolling your neck, please? I can't uh, help uh, it, no one. <laughs> However, um, the circumstances are very different here. Um, and the longer that I've been married to a black man, the longer that I've been a part of the black community in this country, um, the more I become aware of how important it is to build black families. So it's really, really jarring for me when I see somebody who was born here, raised here, and understand what it means to be black here, sit there and write an open letter and say that. That does uh, take me aback. 
Okay, well, I love the way you put that. That was very, um, Great <laughs> astute, yes, and so politically correct. This is wonderful. I hope to do the same thing with what I'm about. To no, say. you don't. <laughs> <laughs> because, um, you know, I had some first comments, some first thoughts when I saw Regina with this, this statement. And it, it was like, I wanted to say, be pleased, you know, and, um, but I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that. Um, the thing is this, there's two, there's just two, two things to it. Number one, we know that there is, has been an agenda of population control. And I'm going to say it again, white supremacy in the black community from Planned Parenthood to advocating interracial marriage to a feminist and feminization of black men to mass incarceration. So I would never play into any one of those plans on any given day. I would rather jump off a bridge, okay? Secondly, when you understand who the black man is, that's the original man. Why would I wanna go from the, why would I wanna get with something other than the original man who was made for me and I was made for him? Like, you can miss me all day with that. Um, so, you know, I just couldn't do it. I don't know. I, I don't want to say anything crazy. So I'm just going to say, let you, let you go that, let me just calm down for a second. Cause to me, that sounds ridiculous. Um, <clears throat> take into consideration though, that, um, and I see this, I've said it before with, um, with, um, Whoopi Goldberg. Cause I watch and I live tweet and live post, uh, the hot topics on the view. I think something happens to these people in Hollywood where they almost get removed from the experience that everybody else is having. And they start saying these crazy, honestly, they start saying these crazy things that you just kind of wonder, um, uh, did they forget what is going on or are they just not aware? Or are they just living in this Hollywood bubble, which makes them think that they're not affected by what affects the rest of us? Um, and I would venture to say that th that's a possibility. Uh, but like I said, um, to me, um, there's nothing more important to me. I mean, if you've watched, if anybody's watched our segments between uh, on, on the Your Black World channel where you and I are talking, um, there's no denying that we love the black man and we love the black family and we're committed to building that. Um, so uh, clearly Regina King is not. Right. And I think that, um, you know, of course I have the site loving the black man. When you understand who the black man is, that statement, it would be definitely laughable because you are sitting here with the inheritance of the original man and you would consider um, thinking outside of that box. True, we have some social engineering that has taken place. But again, I've just never had a problem finding a good black man. And I, I can't believe there are black women out there who say that they can't, you know, they think it's just impossible for them to have black men. Secondly, I would never, I would never think about having any type of intimacy with someone who is suspected of supporting something as heinous as white supremacy and who is not tirelessly day and night looking for a way to replace white supremacy and who is not working with their other counterparts in their race to stop the killing and the um all of the different things that are happening to black people and even with that i still wouldn't do it so um i just think that black women need to stop um buying into these 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 crazy narratives and ideas about who we are and trading in the special unique things that god um instilled in us and taking us away from the idea of building the black nation and the black family with black people I, mean, I thought it was interesting that, um, you know, Robin Thicke himself being a white, uh, a white person actually was like, um, I don't know that many wonderful white men. Um, and I'd be interested to know where he was going with that. But the more important thing that he said was, you know, good luck to you um, finding someone who will understand your journey. Because what he was really saying was, you know, you can marry or date or whatever interracially. But the truth is, um, that person will never really know what it means to be walking in your shoes and understand your experience. And that means that you'll always have a wall between you in terms of 
the, the, like you said, being a, an intimate partner, there's always going to be that wall of a person who just never really gets your experience. Yeah, I mean, historically speaking, you know, again, I'm not a racist. I guess I have to say that for some people. Uh, we're talking about preferences here. We're just talking about history and things like that. It's not about race. So the thing is that historically speaking, you can see um, the result of the um, rulership of white male dominance over the last 500 years. The, um, the scenario is placed the planet in. Whereas for the other 80,000 or so, we don't even know how far back when black people were traveling the earth freely and creating civilization, creating language and mathematics and universities and education and all of that, that was under the black male leadership along with the black woman. And that just shows me a fundamental difference in the two types of people as far as the mindset um, that is naturally there. And I would not want to procreate or to be um, have intimacy with um, a mindset that is related to um, and synonymous with something. So I'm just going to stop there. Okay, we need to close out. Look, thank you so much for having this conversation with me, Noma. And thank you, thank you Yes, thank everybody for watching. Please register at marywomensbusiness.com and um, Noma has the successful black and I have a techoweb.com. Thank, thank you guys. You.